Hey guys, another video. Uh, it's day two. Character is 92 slash played. 20 hours, uh, 54 minutes, and 6 deaths. So in this video I'll play two maps. Um, the first one I'll show you my typical setup for most of the duration of the character today, and then what I switched to. So I switched around my sack harvest. I'm using one, two, and three right now. But right now I'll show you what I have most of the day. I put like a 12 attack speed, I think, and another uh, 12 attack speed jewel. And I only had one sack harvest most of the day. And I would run stuff like um, this canyon. Where is it? I have some canyon somewhere. Yeah. I'll run a canyon for you and I'll show you a harder map, a higher level map afterwards. So I'll do the maps and then afterwards I'll show you how to search jewels for your character. So right now my Whirling Blades is 283 in hideout. Vol Molten Shell, depending on my Pendulum Destruction, you see when it's up, I get 30.699. When it's down, I get 25. So those are my stats right now. And I guess I'll show you the tree owl. So I got um, some more ES. I got an extra jewel slot. I think that's all I did, really. But here's the tree to glance at. Um, later on, I'm going to drop the attack speed for a more safe setup. Or maybe I'll just keep it. Who knows? But uh, I was expecting to mostly attack speed today. It's a little bit painful to build up the souls in the very beginning of the map because you have only one sack harvest and getting two souls per monster is you know 30% chance as opposed to 90 so being in the map is a little bit painful um, but once you get it you get pretty fast so the reason I was using attack speed jewels today because I wanted to move really really quick and you saw the other video I had them on and the reason I stopped using them is because I was getting kicked from the server for performing too many actions. Um, I may get kicked on this map, who knows. But uh, I switched off of that to try to stop getting kicked so much and it helps a little bit I guess. Not really though. So if you don't have problems with that you can probably spec into attack speed. Ball haste isn't like a bad option either if you know what you're doing. So the thing with jewels is when you search for them you want to find the stuff that helps your character. So there's going to be a couple mods that help and I'll show you that later but right now I'll just mention them briefly like attack speed and fire damage. But you can also set, get some cast speed or energy shield stuff like that but I don't think um, the cast speed is especially useful because you're not going to be fighting bosses most of the time so for jewels be sure to get those things and I'll show you a detailed um, search of that and I'll link like the search uh, after this map so look forward to that and um, Overall, this build's like performing okay. The AoE is kind of okay-ish. It's like not really impressive or disappointing. So uh, the build's gonna be doing fine for most of the time. I think I'm gonna get pretty tanky with the character. And now let me show you the uh, other setup I switched to. I like took out attack speed and this attack speed tool, and I put in the sack harvest. So. That's what I did for the later part of this day, and I think I might stick with that setup. I guess the only map mod I can't do is like um, Blood Magic. So if this is a Blood Magic map, I won't be able to do this. So I guess if you're doing unid maps, be careful of Blood Magic maps. In this map, I'll tell you about uh, how to roll maps and why this character is pretty nice. You're able to do like most of the map mods. You see, it's not Blood Magic, and there's nothing. I don't know what this is, but you should be able to do most of the map mods except blood magic nothing should really be in a problem with this build which is really nice because other builds that you can't do like certain stuff like reflect or um, smothering or whatever it is um, the other thing I want to mention with map mods is if you the boots I have are attack speed so if you got like some sort of regen on hit which works very well with scolds or if you have some sort of uh, leech on recent kill that stuff uh, will be different depending on the map mods. It'll, you, you may have to run a mana pause, I'm saying. Like, if you have the uh, regen on hit, and you just don't want to run labs anymore, 
that stuff's not gonna um, that stuff's not gonna work on Norwegian map. So you're gonna have to mana pot on that. Or if you have the leech and you like encounter no monsters, or it's like <clears throat> you're whirling around a lot, like right now, and you're gonna run out of mana. So you're gonna wanna be able to use uh, mana pot when uh, when necessary for your for your boot enchantment. Right now, I'm running attack speed on my boots because I figured I got it on like the I got it on like a couple lab runs, so I don't want to rerun labs and and it's uh not too bad if I have to use mana pots anyways. Oh, this is bad running out of souls. So yeah, you also want to like be more focused when you when you map, and you don't want to run out of souls because in the beginning of the map when you run out of souls, it's like super dangerous. So. Uh, be sure to get a mana pot if you need it, and um, make sure you get the right boots and chance, and be careful on the map mods. Uh, the other thing I like want to touch on is when you when this build is vulnerable the most is at the beginning of the map. So you want to be very very careful at the beginning of the map. Like when you don't have your vol molten shell, you don't really have any way of like leeching immediately. Unless you like flame blast and channel, and that's like kind of dangerous if the monsters hit really hard. So just be very careful in the beginning of the map. You should be okay. Um, th don't do stuff like me where you drop the molten shell in the middle of the map, because that's that's really sketchy, and you don't want to have that happen to you. Like the I don't see you dying with molten shell up ever, because you have molten shell and you have pots, and you're just never gonna die. Full leech on Aziri flask, and no worries. So. Yeah, just be careful in the beginning of the maps, um, like I said. And bosses, I guess I'll touch on bosses as well. Bosses aren't really that big of an issue right now. You do a lot of chaos damage, and <clears throat> your cast speed's like okay. It's not like terrible, it's not like the greatest, though, depending on how many jewels you get. So the, the bosses melt pretty quickly. I'll show you right now. It's not too bad. It's not like the best thing in the world either, but... Oh boy. I have no more souls. Okay, here we go. Yeah, be very careful of your timing on bosses as well for Volmo and Shell. It's not like the best thing, but it's not bad. So boss damage should be pretty good, especially on stuff like uh, really difficult mass for other characters like Village Ruin or stuff. You should be able to melt things pretty fast. So yeah, I don't know what these map mods were. And that's like the strength of this build. You can run almost every map mod. A lot more than like other characters, anyways. Um, only exception being Blood Magic. So that's that. Now let me show you the jewels, uh, real quick. Uh, how to search them, and I'll I'll link the jewels in the description. So you, if you don't want to, uh, if you just want the answers, you can just click it. So this is how you do it. I'll show you this on the last series, but in case you missed it, you go to the like the jewel wiki page, and then you go down each one of the mods, and see which one applies to your jewel. So I'll just do that real quick for you. So if I have a jewel here and I'm Vol Molten Shell, I'm going to be dual wielding consuming daggers. Consuming darks. They're going to be daggers, so they're going to be one hand, they're going to be daggers, and then they're going to be dual wield. So those are the attack speed that you want to roll. But if you're like not really, if you don't really know what it is, you can just go through a wiki page one by one and you go, okay, attack speed, one hand, melee weapon. And then you find the next one, spell damage holding shield. That doesn't apply. You're not holding a shield. Um, you keep going down. Chaos damage. Okay. Chaos damage, and you can see. Blah blah blah. Block. Block spells. I don't really think block is really that good for you. So, you keep going down the list, and um, let me show you a couple more. I guess. Fire damage. Increase fire damage. Fizzle damage while dual wielding. You don't need that. Your spells. You don't need crit chance with melee weapons. That only applies to attacks. Um, because it's with one hand and melee weapons. Attack speed while dual wielding. And then you go all the way down and yada yada yada. So I'll show you one more. And then I'll show you the what I have already. So you can do. I don't. I don't like Caspi personally because I don't feel like it. Um, 
with fire skills. I don't feel like it adds that much in terms of most of the map experience. So you just go down the list and then eventually you go through everything that applies and then you search for account or four or whatever. Uh, I already have stuff prepared. So let me just go over the ones that are like important and then I'll end the video and this will this search will be in the link below. So what I have right now is I have attack speeds and you see attack speed here and then there's energy shield and then the damages and cast speed so three damages here and uh, two cast speeds here so one two three attack speeds one two three damages and then two cast speeds and an energy shield now I'm gonna leave the cast speeds in if you don't like them you can you can X them out when you do the search right now this is in Paranus you might have to switch this later too if you're doing it in a future league um, and for the suffixes you do there is attack speed attack and cast speed so there's two attack speeds and one two three damages and um, one cast speed and a hybrid attack and cast speed so those are the splits and I also search for resistances greater than 20 so you hit the double res right here uh, let me show you so stuff like fire and lightning you'll be able to get um, two reses as a suffix as well which is worth it because like the other suffixes are kind of meh compared to compared to resistances and resistances are not bad I plan to drop the bandit um, resistance later if I get enough on jewels but I'll show you in a later video so they should be fairly cheap I'll link this um, uh, I'll link this below below the video so you can click it and have it whenever you want um, and that's how you do jewels. Um, by the way, I split it between prefixes and suffixes to make it less confusing for me. But you can group them all in one and do a count four. So that's what matters. The only reason you would split this is if you want to search for exactly like one prefix or one suffix and have the other two prefixes or two suffixes. So that would be it for this video. I uh, hope you learned something, enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the future. See ya.